In this video, we're going to take a look at all of the um, blood vessels running through the abdominal region or the abdominal uh, cavity, um, running down into the pelvic cavity. So we're going to start off with the abdominal veins. And the first thing that I want to point out is that there are some really excellent diagrams on page 65 through page 67 of your book. Um, showing all of these blood vessels that I've drawn out here. They show some other structures to help you understand what these blood vessels run from, um, but hopefully this diagram that I've put together will make sense. Okay, so to start off, we're going to locate our abdominal veins. So first off, we have our abdominal vena cava, and this is going to be probably the most dominant blood vessel that you'll see running through the abdomen of the mink. So it's gonna start up here right above the liver and run all the way down towards the legs. So it's quite a large vessel. Um, then I'm gonna point out the blood vessels that are running from our uh, kidneys. Kidneys would be located out here. So we have our renal veins. So the left renal vein and the right renal vein running back to that abdominal vena cava. This green structure right here, the liver, is going to have three specific vessels that you'll need to be able to name coming from it. So the first part, immediately stemming from the liver, is gonna be our hepatic portal vein. So it's gonna be really thick. Um, it's gonna be dyed yellow in your mink, so that's why I've used the yellow color to represent this. Um, so it's gonna be this large initial segment um, that's pretty thick, that's your hepatic portal vein that's gonna be draining um, blood away from your intestines up to your liver. But stemming from that, you have two other veins, your superior mesenteric vein, which is going to the small intestine, and your inferior mesenteric vein, which would be going to the large intestine. And it kind of defies logic a little bit when you're first thinking about it, but this, this superior mesenteric vein is really thick and quite large. Um, and that is because the small intestine stretches on and on and on and on, and it needs a very large vessel to be able to take all of the blood that's being drained out of those uh, small intestine regions. And then your inferior mesenteric vein goes to your large intestine. In the mink, the large intestine is rather small, um, again, the names don't necessarily make sense right away. Um, so that's why this inferior mesenteric vein is rather small. It doesn't need to deal with as much blood flow coming up through it, so it can be a smaller vessel. Um, so those two are going to be draining blood away from the small intestine and the large intestine and draining it up towards the liver. Um, then we get to our abdominal um, vena cava again, as we said before. Um, coming down to our common iliac veins, and these are going to be veins that split off to go to either leg. And then the last vessels that I want to, oops, that I want to point out are the gonadal veins. So if your, if your mink is a female, then they would be um, going to the ovaries, and then for a male, that would be going to the testes. So these gonadal veins are what I've drawn right here. The unique thing about the left gonadal vein is that it's actually going to come right off of the left renal vein. So there would be a kidney right here, the left renal vein, and our left gonadal vein would be running up here into that left renal. Our right gonadal is going to be running up and kind of merging in with this lower region of the abdominal vena cava. So those are all of the blood vessels, or rather all of the veins that you need to know. And next we're going to take a look at the arteries. So now for those abdominal arteries, we're going to take a look first at our lab manual to point out some really great diagrams. Um, pages 70 through 74 have, uh, first off, they have this great diagram that shows the relationship between the veins and the arteries that are running through this abdominal cavity. Um, so I think that's pretty good to take a look at. And then they have some fantastic pictures um, of structures that you're gonna need to locate. Oh, that glare is pretty intense. So there you can see divergence between our iliac structures. Um, over here, or actually it's this one, that I think does a really good job of showing all the different branches off of the aorta that you're gonna wanna know. All right, back to the diagram that I drew. 
All right, so we have our abdominal aorta, or you could just call it the aorta, that's gonna be running the length of this abdominal cavity. And from it, there are going to be, I believe it's eight structures coming off. The first one, as we're starting from the top and running down, the first structure that we're gonna to come to is our celiac artery. So this artery is going to be rather large. It's going to be pointing off towards the left side of the vink and it would be a blood vessel that would be running to the stomach and to the spleen, carrying blood full of oxygen to those structures. Then immediately below it and pointing more to the right side of the minx body, you'd have the superior mesenteric artery. So for the veins, you get a superior and an inferior. For our artery, we only have the superior mesenteric artery going out to the small intestine. Um, well, it'll also go to the large intestine, but the big one that it goes to is the small. All right, so moving down even further, we have our renal arteries, which again are going to be going out to our kidneys. Coming down from that, we're going to have our gonadal arteries. We could either have testicular or ovarian, and these are going to be halfway between our renal artery and our external iliac arteries. So these are going to be really tiny little structures that are going to be projecting off of the right and left side of that abdominal aorta and running down to the gonads of your mink. And then the last structures that you're going to want to know are the external iliac arteries of the mink. And these, these just like uh, the uh, vessels or the veins, would be running down to either leg of the mink. So those are the blood vessels that you want to know. Um, and good luck studying.